Welcome back, everybody. This is Jim Richards, your pop artist, your neo pop artist in abstract, using neon fluorescent as usual. Um, this is video number three, okay? Um, if you saw some of the other uh, previous videos of me creating this piece, um, really exciting piece. It's coming out really well. I just wanted to uh, complete the piece and show you uh, how it's uh, how it's going. So let me just uh, continue on. Right now, I'm just deconstructing the piece. There's a lot of times I like to, to add construct, uh, uh, you know, solid elements in the piece, like the dots and things like that. And then I like to throw some deconstruction into the piece also. Um, you know, I like to throw that erratic behavior into the piece um, because, you know, that's human emotion and, and I want to get that in there. So, you know, as much as I, I create a piece, I like to destroy a piece at the same time, but yet keeping my message there. So, in case you're wondering what is going on, that is what is going on. Basically right now what you're seeing is I'm building on top of the piece. There's elements of various destruction happening but at the same time. Um, important emotions happening at the same time. I really like how that blue is now just showing up. That drip. Again, I use a lot of the drips with the spray paint. It's a street art type of feel. It's a gritty feel. Um, I like having my pieces as much as they're bright and fluorescent and, and popping in your face almost 1980s kind of inspired colors. I like throwing in that street art element. I like the drip because the paint is, you know, keeping its form, but the drip is, is doing its own thing. So I like to, uh, to add that element in. And sometimes white on top of a, a piece, on top of colors really, really adds to the effect. I just love the play of colors sometimes that just pure white has. Um, you know, I, I find that white is, you know, it's, it's sometimes a not, not understood color. It, it's, it's a color and it's, you know, it's, you know, it looks amazing on top of other colors. And so I, I try to make sure I throw some of that in there um, because that's an important, uh, important element. Now, as you see the piece, as is developing, is getting a little more kind of uh, drippier looking, and that's on purpose. That is on purpose. I think you know, a lot of my pieces, as happy as they they appear, they're very bright, they're very um, uh, you know colorful and things like that. I think inside there's a lot of of darker meanings in my pieces. So the colors um, are almost kind of, you know, covering up the, the, the hidden feelings of my paintings. Um, but yet they're still conveying those feelings. But you have to be able to see through those colors to see the meaning. And, um, you know, that's why, like, a lot of my pieces, you know, you have to read into the, the piece and to see what I'm truly, truly saying. A lot of times I'm using my hands, uh, and a lot of times I'll be using a scraper, uh, spray paint, uh, I'll be using uh, stencils, um, or a piece of, uh, of wood in this case, as almost uh, like a, a, a palette to, to smear the piece. Now you can see the real richness of the piece, the multi-textures, the drip, and, and things that are happening in this piece. Now the piece is coming alive. Now you can see the emotion 
starting to come alive in this piece. Just a few more things I feel that uh, I need to do. And again, like I said, the white, the white's an important factor. You have the lightness, you have the darkness, and the white's an important, to me, I, you know, it's an important factor in my work. It's really, really important. See, what I did just right there was an important element because these two colors are now in unison with each other, with that drip. That drip brought those two colors together. And that right there was an important element in this piece, um, what I was trying to achieve. So that's that was something that was quite important to, to get in. Again, we're dealing with thick paint here. So uh, needless to say, it does get messy. So uh, it does get messy. My studio floor is, is always messy. But you know what? This is how I create. I don't want to be worried about what I'm doing with the, where the paint's going. You know, the mess is just, uh, you know, an end result of the process. So it's, uh, you know, it has to, it has to be done. It just has to be done. Now I'm going to um, I'm just going to my studio is just insane sometimes. And sometimes it's just uh, it's unbelievable how. How much mess? It's, it's important for me, you know. Like I said, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, worry about the mess. But it's important. It doesn't get in my way of, of me creating, you know, because it can get quite quite crazy. So. just got in that area just kind of took that blue out of there and put that yellow in there it really looks good so this was number three of this piece um, again it's an up and down uh, type of painting in size a size I really like and uh, you know quite impressed on uh, on what's what's going on here I just want some more white in the drip. I like those subtle areas of white. Uh, they're just breaking breaking the colors up. I really, really, really enjoy that. Well, there's video number three. I'm standing back. I'm, I'm quite happy with how the pieces uh, come along. Uh, I think it's you know, I had the, some of the feelings that I, I had this morning. I think it brought them out. And uh, I'm glad you can stop by and take a look at the creative process. 